Hey everybody, welcome back to the Family Mart Podcast. I'm Chris. And I'm Jay. Welcome back. Uh, we just like to plug uh, the suggestion box that we have on the website now. If you head to FamilyMartPodcast.com, we have a suggestion box where you can leave questions, suggestions, um, or you could just tell us something nice or mean, whatever you feel like doing. Um, do it in the comment section yeah. box. It's thing. on the f- front page. Can't miss it. Yeah. So uh, head over there. And uh, obviously, you know, we're not doing a live show for this episode. This is Hit episode it. 50, which is a huge milestone for us. Hell yeah, dude. Um, so, you know, hats off to not following through with what we said. <laughs> <laughs> Add that to the many things I've not followed through with what yeah, I said. But I it's do. okay because, you know, maybe we'll do something live for episode 69. Oh, dude, I would, I would love to do it for episode 69. That would be a fucking fantastic idea. Yeah. Um, shout out to Goose. He just had a baby. Shout out my boy Goose. Um, so, you know, shout out to having babies. We all know how I feel about having babies. We and... all know how I feel about having babies. Um, Wait, do we all know? Well, I don't anyway. think so. I don't think I know how you feel about having babies. I'd have a baby with you. Okay, well, 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 well I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> It's real flattering. Well, what do you think of what do you think of babies? I like babies. I like babies. I would have my own baby if I could. <laughs> like you would. I would inseminate, inseminate myself. <laughs> Self insemination, dude. I would, yeah, it would be a. Uh, it'd really just be me. <laughs> <laughs> Again, damn. Can you imagine a baby that's just made by you? Man, that sounds depressing. Actually, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like cloning. Oh, okay. Then yeah, I would clone myself. Yeah. Damn, that's kind of that's kind of cool. You, you might have to be the first idiot to do that. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool if my clone, like whatever he is uh, experiencing, like it also at the same time like comes to my brain. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, it oh. would take. I feel like it would take a while for that because you know he still has to grow up. Like he's gonna be oh, like yeah. goo goo gagging for a while. Yeah, he's gonna be pretty dumb. Yeah. So I mean, especially if you're like teaching him your ways. Yeah. He's gonna be exactly <laughs> like, like you. Oh, oh my god. Never mind. Maybe I shouldn't have a clone. <laughs> yeah. Do you think um, if you met a girl t- tonight, right, do you think, uh, like, let's say, okay, let me frame this. If y'all hit it off, she's hella cool. She's really pretty. She's, like, your ideal woman. But you o- you only met her this night, and she wants to have kids. Would you have kids? Nah. You're not that desperate to have no, kids. No, 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 no. Okay, because you know how, like, some women. Yeah, like, some, I, some women at baby fever. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've I've known some women that are like, oh, I want to I want to ha- have his kids right now. Yeah, the like, ones where they're like, and the dude's like, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go, I'm gonna come, and then she's like wraps her legs around him. <laughs> Those crazy women. Yeah, I, I mean, but even before they get to that point, like before they even introduce themselves, they're already trying to oh, have yeah. a baby with that. They're already raging. Man, yeah. It's like they know when the um. What's not menstruation? Menopause. It's like they could they could see it on the horizon. Yeah, I feel like we're going down a slippery slope right now. Yeah, we should. We probably shouldn't be talking about stuff we don't know about. (laughs) Yeah. Let me uh, (laughs) let me take a step back. (laughs) Let's take a step back for a second. Um. So that was a slippery slope. (laughs) This week, I saw a video on on a YouTube plant. Um. As you know, we're both familiar with industry plants in the music industry. Hell yeah, baby! Have you heard of a YouTube plant? I have not, but uh, I think just by hearing about it, I believe it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, and because the the topic was brought up because there's a, a a lady who is a fairly new YouTuber. I think she only has like five videos. I forgot her name, but she makes van life videos, okay. like van lifestyle type of videos. Does the really like quirky teen type of editing with the the fast zoom ins on her face and like the funny sound effects and shit? Yeah, uh, heavily inspired by Emma Chamberlain, and she got like a million subs in like a day or something like that mm. off her first video. So people were like speculating like, oh, is this girl uh, a YouTube plan? Was she brought up by uh, advertisers so that they can like if they she- can promote vans or they yeah yeah yeah. Stick with me here, bro. No, no, that's what I'm saying. No, I was dead no, ass. No, no, no. Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> Dude, so they can promote vans. It's she's a van lady, right? Yeah, but it's like I was thinking. I was thinking like advertising, like you know, skin product, skincare. Oh, uh, <laughs> not like a fucking van. <laughs> I mean, she. You said she has a van channel. No, I feel you, but <laughs> what else am I supposed to think? I mean, you really think somebody's out there promoting vans? <laughs> <laughs> why not <laughs> I guess, dude this, this, i guess you're right, I guess you're right. <laughs> but no i don't think that's what they're... <laughs> the number one uh 
fucking uh, advice is go niche as you can, and here we go with the vans, but no one's <laughs> tuning in. Um, so yeah, they're like people are saying that uh, at like there are companies that are bringing her up to make her um, ad friendly, kid friendly, clean content, and then they will integrate their brand seamlessly through her videos and mm. that's what people are saying i don't think it's true and other people are saying that she bought subscribers which i also don't think is true because like you don't get engagement when you buy subscribers or that's uh, true views. Her, her engagement it's ratio is pretty it's, solid yeah, it's pretty solid like i feel like we can all tell even if you're not a youtube a million in expert. a day something like that something really wild or i forgot I mean, a million off the first video is probably something yeah i because i know her first video definitely got a million views very what? quickly um and she got a million subs fairly like if it wasn't a day it had to at least been at in three days all right well maybe the youtube plant is still in conspiracy mode I wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly believe in the algorithms rigged. What do you mean by that? So, like, let's say with using a new word of the day, nepotism, she knows someone at Google or YouTube, and they put her on the trending list, and then, boom, there's a million views. Well, that also doesn't guarantee subscribers, though. Like, the content still has oh, yeah, to be good. Yeah, she got subbed, and she still has an engagement. Yeah. So, that, like, yeah, they could do that. They could put you... It's. I feel like it's the same with the music. Like it, you could have an industry plant. You put them on all Spotify playlists. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure, they'll 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 get lots of views because people are just clicking through it. But if the music isn't good, then nobody's gonna show up to the show. That's true. Nobody's gonna you know. That's so, true. I I don't. That's why I don't think she's a YouTube plant, quote unquote, whatever the fuck people are saying. I don't think she is. Okay. But... You you do think they're all, YouTube plant is a thing, but you just don't think it's her. I don't know, cause like. Yeah, you. Yeah, we've gone over this. It's a hard few to. Times. It, it, do you think that's real? Do you think like there's companies that find an individual and they bring them up, like as far as like buying all their equipment, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> buying all their equipment, putting them on all of the recommended uh, channels. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I, they okay, they, I, they push the fuck out of them. I pretty think. Much. I think. Um, I think labels try. I think they definitely try. Yeah. And then some flop and some fail. Maybe we just don't some remember. Some flop and some fail. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think I just think we don't rem really remember the the flops. He rolled it over. <laughs> Dude, let me just say I, so if you don't know what the fuck was going on, behind our camera we have our uh just the, the our <laughs> cousin. <laughs> he used to he used to edit our shit and film our stuff, but now he doesn't. Um he was just fucking choking on his own cum or spit or whatever the fuck it was. It looked like cum. And I rolled over hit my hydro flask to him, which has saved him and you and my other cousin. It has saved lots of times. So many times. And y'all still try to fucking clown the hydro flask, <laughs> but it saves your lives. It's just a part of your identity now. Yeah. It's funny. I'm playing. But yeah, it, it's a. <laughs> Yo, hydro plant. Hydro flask. Hydro plant? <laughs> hydro plant or hydro flant? What are you, which one were you going for? I was going for a hydro flask. <laughs> so I said hydro flant. <laughs> Yeah, hold on. I want to talk about something real quick. Cause I heard on a different podcast, he was kind of like, "Was it me?" No, oh, okay. he was kind of like, uh, like shitting on other podcasts that, uh, that when somebody in the podcast fucks up on a word, and then everybody in the room like just goes off on that tangent for like a really long time, and then they get back to what they were saying, and he was trying to say like, it's just mad inefficient with time and. I just kept thinking about us because we do that all the time. Yeah. When one of us fucks up a word, we just fucking <laughs> we just talk about that for like the next no, five but minutes. We, but we do that in real life too, so yeah. it's that's authentic as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> and we are on a tangent. I don't think that's inefficient. It's fucking. A, it's a fucking podcast. There's no limit to this shit. I have his address if you want to pull up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. No, I'm playing. You know when people say that though, like on the internet. Yeah, they're like, dude. You uh, where do you where are you at? And then they act, try to meet up and shit. Do you and think? Try to fight. Do you think those people are are really gonna go there when they see the address? Uh, there's one famous um event that happened on NBA Twitter, and someone was talking shit about Kobe, and he was located in Temecula, and the the dude actually drove down there, and they they I duped think, it out. Uh, I think the one of them bailed, 
but yeah, the one the one that lived further away d- drove down there. Man, that's but crazy. for the most part, I don't think anyone has. That really shit is a waste of time. Dude. Off if you're gonna yeah. do that, that shit is that shit is just uh, machismo at its finest, bro. Ego yeah. at its finest. Yeah. Like, for what sure. do you get from that? Like, I know it's funny to talk about if if it really happened, but like, if we're like talking about it for real, like, what do you get from that? Nothing. Nothing. You went all the way to Semecula to fuck this guy up? Dude, no way you, you drive somewhere to fight someone. For free. For free. Jeez. Like, that's just, I feel like that's asking to go to jail. I don't think I would drive to, to my own fight. UFC or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to avoid fights at all costs. Yeah, for sure. I'm not trying to fight nobody. Yeah, so no way I'm going to drive to one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least escort me. Yeah, yeah, at least or like, you know, we could be in the same vicinity. Ooh, speaking of escorts, would you ever ca- would you ever have a kid with an escort? I guess if it was accidental? Accidental, huh? <laughs> <laughs> or not, I wouldn't like plan one, I guess. Yeah. But that wouldn't be your ideal. Not ideal. But I guess if it happens, it happens. Escorts. Hit yeah, up Jay. Yeah. We're just, uh, sex worker positive over here. <laughs> are we? I'm not. I am. You are? Yeah, why not? Like Under legal conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Like yeah. uh, like porn and stuff. Are, are they considered prostitutes? Oh, no. I mean, I was just saying sex work, but... If oh, sex workers. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not just prostitution, but yeah. all, the, the entire industry. All the above. Of- only gotcha. fans accounts and everything. Yeah. Uh my cams, my cams. Uh, is uh, my cams different from my free cams? Uh I don't know. I just know the acronym MFC. <laughs> <laughs> That's the set, baby MFC. <laughs> Big gang over here. <laughs> Big cam over here. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> um so I've been on TikTok a lot lately and uh I'm really enjoying it because like at first, I thought it was just like musically, right? I thought it was just people lip singing, yeah, and just dancing. That's which what I there, thought it was. There, there's a lot of that. It's a lot of dancing. But my for you page, aka my my You're recommended following. page, yeah, um, it's changed a lot to the more comedic side of TikTok. Mm-hmm. So I, I've been enjoying it a lot more because it reminds me a lot of Vine. And oh, okay, so now it's like a long form Vine. Yeah, which I, I fifteen seconds is long. Yeah, form. I, I, I mean I. <laughs> I don't really know how I feel about the longer form videos yeah. in comparison to Vine. Because I do like the six second um, rhythm. It's like... There's something about it. It just works. Yeah. You know? So the 15 seconds, I guess I kind of have to get used to it. Because like during comedic skits, I I can feel when it's supposed to end. But then it keeps going. I see. You know what I'm saying? You know what else is 15 seconds is uh, the maximum for like one part on an Instagram story. Uh huh. So and you're so used to just like skip. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe that that maybe there's something about that 15 second mark. Maybe it's funny. I wonder how they come up with these numbers. It's got to be something mental about it. Mental. Me- something mental about it. <laughs> Please excuse us. No, <laughs> my fault. Is that? That's just about my life. <laughs> <laughs> Is that is that considered culture vulturing? Like when you use an accent that's not yours? No. There's there's a ton of British actors stealing all the American that's true. Hollywood jobs. But you know what? Some some shit just doesn't sound right with a quote unquote American accent. Like you have to have that shit with a British accent. Like serious scenes, um, I feel like have to have British accents in them. Yeah, I I think British accents in, in British accents in funny scenes are funnier. I just think the British accent is cool. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, yeah it's, it's, Over, overall, it's, overall, it's yeah, cool. it's pretty, it's pretty cool. But it's also just because it's, it's fucking different. Yeah, I just because it's kinda, exotic. I wonder what kind of accent we have. I think we have the um, it's a uh, on the Cali dude side. Damn, I don't know how I feel about being on the Cali dude side. I think we're closer to the saw dude than we think. Really? Yeah. I don't want to sound like that at all. I just, I, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Fuck. Do I gotta change how I speak? If you like to, if you don't like, if you don't like who you are. I mean, sometimes I don't, bro. So well, I guess if I that's just, the one part that I, would make you feel better about yourself, then why not? I might have to find another identity. Why not live here and just bust through with the British accent? You know, it's twenty nine. You know what? If I did that, I don't know how far I could get. Cause like I'm gonna break down mid mid conversation and have to explain myself. <laughs> like I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm actually not. <laughs> Your YouTube 
uh, channel's like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> There's like video proof of you with the Cali dude. Accent. Yo, do you know um, uh, Mackenzie Dern? She's a UFC fighter. No, I don't think so. So in 2015, I think uh, she was. She's like a huge jujitsu competitor before she even started in the UFC. Uh huh. And she had like a uh, a heavy American Cali girl type of accent, right? But her parents, I believe, are Brazilian, and they have a a Brazilian accent. Mm -hmm. So. Um, like through the years, like from 2015, like it, there's a video on YouTube of the progression of her accent going from American to uh, Brazilian, and it's fucking wild. That's tight. It's <laughs> like I, it's hard to like understand, but I guess I can kind of see that. Like if you live at a jujitsu gym and your parents are Brazilian, yeah, um, you know, I can see that happening because the people around you have the accent. Uh, I mean, at home, I speak with a fob accent with, with my parents. and Yeah, it just comes through. It just comes, And, and it just, maybe they understand it more that way, so you, oh, yeah, you choose to speak mm -hmm. it more that yeah, way. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely like a, a mental, uh, a, uh, a, not a subconscious thing, a conscious effort. Yeah, yeah, So in that part. But, but it's weird to see her do it in like post-fight interviews and like outside of her quote-unquote home environment. That's what, what, why it's a little weird for other people to see. I see. I mean, I bet if you move to Hawaii just for like a year, you're going to come back Pick speaking up. pigeon. Yeah, that's true. So is it weird to make fun of that? No. Like accents? No, just like of her changing from... Oh, like no, I don't think so. I don't think that's... Uh, wait, I yeah, so I I do think that's weird to yeah. like to like specifically pick on that. Like mm -hmm. a joke is cool, like a rose is cool, but like to really go at someone to hurt them. Yeah, that's true. You should weird. see it though. It's crazy because like the progression is wild. So someone made a video and it has like the trajectory of what she used to sound mm -hmm. like and then and now what evolving. she sounds like now. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Super fine though. And oh, she cool. she just had a baby, so shout out to babies. I thought I thought you were saying I thought you were gonna say like yo, she had a baby and then her accent changed. <laughs> <laughs> she changed to a different like <laughs> Like damn man, having a baby's powerful. Yeah, that's I mean, you know. Like in more ways than one. In more ways than one, my dude. Yeah. That shit affects the accent. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I kind of want to... A baby. Oh, no. My bad. Jesus. <laughs> I kind of want to feel what it feels like to have a baby. Like, physically. Oh, physically? Yeah, like, I want to know kind of what women go through so I can understand them better. Hmm. You know? Uh, I think... I, I forgot who did it. I don't know if it was a channel specifically, but they simulated Yeah, the I've pain. seen that. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that's really Any accurate. accurate at all because no. you're not stretching skin yeah you know yeah who made that shit <laughs> yeah. Where, where is this no way this is real <laughs> <laughs> yeah i just don't i just think it just fucking shocks you yeah but i think it's supposed to be the same level of pain that's a i just i don't know yeah there, i feel you there's different levels of pain like a, a 10 breaking my knee is not gonna be a 10 pushing a kid out yeah that's <laughs> true there's different tens yeah yeah and like do you think if you were a woman you think you would do here we go again fucking talking about birth <laughs> you think you would take the epidural hell yeah dude yeah. <laughs> doesn't that affect the kid you like hey doctor what is it oh it's a drug oh yeah then yes isn't doesn't that affect the kid uh i think it used to when it was like improperly placed before but now it's, you just shoot it up your back or something yeah and then, now the only person or person it affects is possibly you. The possibly? First, like sometimes the women get affected. Oh, like long term? Yeah. Damn, that's kind of scary. Like six months later, they still have like a numb right side or something like that. Holy shit. Yeah. I bet you that shit was fire though when they were feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, ah! Oh. <laughs> it kind of felt kind of like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yo, we need more of this shit. Rolling and giving birth? <laughs> that is not the move. No? No way anyone should be taking any MDMA. And giving birth. I don't know, man. That might have to be the new wave. Your ba baby's going to come out with, like, a uh, candy on its wrist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love. EDC passes. <laughs> Damn. Shout out to EDC. <laughs> never been, but, you know, maybe never one day. Never been, never going. <laughs> maybe might not been. Maybe one, maybe one day I'll go. Yeah, um, so, we'll last week I had a conversation with the homie uh, Origami, uh, who's a content creator and producer. And he's been killing it lately. And um, something that we spoke on that really interested me interested me was um, asking for other 
producers' feedback on their tracks. And uh, we just got to talking about, like, how irrelevant, I guess, quote-unquote, it is and how it like asking for validation from other producers is like the biggest waste of time <laughs> <laughs> like from peer to peer yeah from peer to peer um like going into other producers dms and asking like yo i made this beat what do you think of it like giving me the power to tell you what i think and to potentially have you continue your career through me like that's just that's just a waste you. of time you know i feel you and then in the in the bigger picture though like what validation do we really need other than our own, right? None. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think that's what it comes down to. Like, if you're, if you have to ask somebody if you should continue to make beats, then you probably shouldn't. Okay. What it, it, is it? A job? Is it? Would it that be like a consultant? Like, their job is to judge beats. Do you think you would you would ask that guy? No, because well, with this field specifically, it's all subjective. Like music is yeah, all subjective. Because subjective. like I could ask you about a beat and you might like it. I could ask Merz about a beat and he could hate it. But if let's say I asked him first and he said he hated it, well then I'm I'm my dr- dreams and my aspirations for that beat are crushed because I true. was looking for validation from him. He didn't give it to me and now I'm gonna fucking go cry. I guess for anything art. Anything art, anything that's subjective. Like if you're talking about business, I feel like business consultants are real because you like you could look at a business non um, uh, objectively. Obje- uh, no, in an obje- uh, let's get it together, Jay. In a non biased <laughs> way, there we go. And just look at the numbers and just and just view it that way. But yeah. I feel like if you're asking for val- uh, if you're asking for feedback on music, th- you're just wasting your time. That's in true. my opinion, you know. Yeah. The only market is the people. Is the people. The people will tell you if your music is good or not. Yeah. So I think sliding into other producers' DMs like, yo, is this good? Is this good? You're wasting your time. That's a good lesson. I like that. I'm Because I'm going to use it. Because I think a lot, and I and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that because they're going to be like, well, how am I going to get better? Just keep fucking making music. Yeah, keep making music. Keep learning new things. Because I I can guarantee you, if I were to take a lo-fi producer that's popping right now, right? Let's say, um, fuck, I'm I'm so bad when it comes to uh, Moose Dawa. All right. One of my favorite, quote unquote, lo-fi or just producers in general. Okay. I bet you, if I took his beat and one of his one of my favorite beats of his and showed it to, uh, like a a Metro Boomin. I'm mm-hmm. I can pr- I'm pretty sure Metro probably wouldn't like it. Yeah. But then if I were to show it to um Ninth Wonder, Ninth Wonder might like it. Yeah. So I mean, but I, I feel like both of their careers and what they've established are pretty equal. I, yeah. They're valid. I would say. They're, they're they have valid opinions. Yeah. But who's right and who's wrong? Nobody. No one. That's a good point. So I I think I just really wanted to drill that home with like people because I man my DMs that's the number one DM I get is Yo, uh, li- listen to my beat um, and even if you do like it then like okay okay what now what yeah now what <laughs> now you have the validation to keep going what do you what do you think about the ten thousand hours uh theory I I believe in that yeah I think that shit's true three five beats a day for a summer for five I think summers. yeah yeah <laughs> was that was it did I five get the beats a day up? for three summers yeah yeah okay. Is that does that equal ten thousand? I don't think so, okay. but but we'll we'll, we'll run what Yay said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but I, I I do think that's I somewhat true because like think of something that you've been doing for a re- like fucking walking. I'm sure we've wa- uh put in ten thousand hours of walking. Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, we don't even think about walking. That's we true. just get up and walk. Damn, you know. And you just, make, you just make fire beats like that, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you're just not saying, like, you walk and make a beat, <laughs> yeah, but, like, yeah, yeah. like you, you're just kind of, like, I don't know, you're eating cereal, and then you just, you could, like, be right here. Yeah, and just, you just fire. know. Like, you just know yeah, you what's going to be good. And, yeah. Yeah, 10,000 hours. You just put your 10,000 hours in and stop asking for validation. <laughs> yeah, don't ask for validation. <laughs> it's just the biggest waste of time. Just, foc- like, focus on making your own shit. And like the natural progression of anything. Well, actually, I, I can't say natural progression because some people will just never progress. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you enjoy making beats, that's what you should focus on. Just yeah. en- just focus on enjoying the process of making beats, and don't fucking look for other people's opinions if you should continue or not. Like, you might be doing it for the wrong. You're doing reason. it for the wrong reasons, my guy or my gal. Mm, hey nice and progressive of you yeah well actually shouldn't we use one word then yeah nice and progressive my person 
<laughs> How do we use persons? You know, like I don't know. maximum I don't... capacity is like 157 persons. I don't know how. That that wouldn't be, fucked wouldn't... me up ever since I I heard about. Yeah, it. Yeah, like wouldn't. Uh... Well, not people. Yeah. Peeps. Peeps. Anything. You. That's that's when. Me, you, I mean, you're me pretty. Up. I mean, you're pretty aware when it comes to English rules. So I feel like if you don't know that. Yeah, then, that one's just one of those, man, English is fucking dumb. <laughs> English is fucking hard. Man. Shout out to everybody who knows English as a second language. Oh, yeah, huh? And they're, like, pretty fire at it. Yeah, and they're pretty They good understand, at it. like, English slang. Mm-hmm. That's, it's hard. That's hard. Yeah. Like, difficulty-wise and just, like, cool-wise. Yeah, because how else are you going to know whether I mean, damn, that's hard, like, as in difficult or damn, that's hard as in pretty cool? Yeah. We'll never know. I mean, I'll could, never know. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so mesmerized by your fucking shirt right now. You look like the fucking. Ham- I look like the fucking Hamburglar. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of my favorite shirts. I look like yeah, the you, know, you know what? I I do. That is one of my favorite shirts of yours too. <laughs> Thanks. Because um, it just looks nice. But I'm just so engulfed <laughs> in your body right now. Maybe this won't look good on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, people were uh were hyped that you talked about going to the gym on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I told you, man, there's people out there thinking about going to the gym and when they heard you, that probably fucking sparked something. Yeah. If you didn't already sign up, sign up, dude. We're about or to not sign- even sign up, do it at home if you can. Yeah, it's fucking Do anything. Start walking. Dude, start walking. Start Walk walking. outside. You know what? Fit that's why I fuck with Fitbits. Like, you know what? People like to shit on Fitbits, but I think if you if you could buy something that helps you become more active, I'm yeah, all for it. That sounds super cool. Don't you have a Fitbit? I'm into Fitbits. Yeah. Where's yours at? I don't have a Fitbit. I have an Apple Watch. <laughs> what the how can you be into Fitbits then if you don't have one? No, I mean I like the idea. I I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, how you're into it? Yeah, how are you? In- <laughs> no, I'm a I'm fraud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my man's over here fucking frauding, <laughs> leap fraud. Uh, let's talk about Thug real quick, cause I had no idea that J Cole was going to executively produce his his next album. New New Thug album next, or this coming Friday. By the time this comes out, oh shit, let's get it. And it's uh, the word is it's executively produced by the man himself, J Cole. Jermaine. Jermaine. Cole, this has got to be one of the most random, but also coolest friendships of of rap. Oh, ran- okay, friendship. I thought you were gonna say random decisions, but I was gonna say like, wasn't the the tour, yeah, the breaking of the together. ice, yeah, of <laughs> Cole and Thug just like you think they were the just like realm? they they were just probably like I don't know hooping one day and they're just like yo you want to go on tour? He's like slap. <laughs> word <laughs> he's a word 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 he, he walks away like I, man I still don't know what that means <laughs> yeah what <laughs> the fuck is slack mean oh, okay I guess we're going on tour then <laughs> that's cool though I, I hope uh, I hope Cole has some has some uh, production on there yeah I would like for him too or I mean you know maybe some like guest ad libs mm. does he have ad libs like signature ad libs hey <laughs> Yo, I love the hey ad lib from pretty much anybody. <laughs> yeah, like at the beginning. A hey and a yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I fuck, with, I fuck with a hey and a yeah. I don't think Cole has any, um, I was going to say outstanding. He, I don't think he has any uh, like signature ad libs or go-to mm-hmm. libs. Like like there wouldn't be a, um, there wouldn't be like someone's NPC loaded with like Cole ad libs. Right. It would just be. Yeah, what would I don't know? What would they load up for him? Yeah, I don't know. Shit, nothing really. Yeah, but yeah, so. I'm excited for the album. I didn't know he had an album coming out. I just literally th- I found out because you wrote it in the notes. So that now I know that Thug has an album coming yeah. out. And then that's why people come to the pod because maybe they didn't know and now you know. Yeah, well, shout out to th- shout out to Thug. Yeah, Young Thug. Oh, Young Thug specifically. We don't we Jeffrey. Yeah, uh, he's uh, actually right here. If you're watching this on YouTube, we actually have him as a candle. You want to plug this? <laughs> no, don't plug it. No, I was talking about the camera. Okay, you want to plug the you want to plug the candle? <laughs> no. Okay. Shout out to candles. Please don't le- light them and uh, leave them in your house. Yeah, they will burn down. Remember to uh, blow them out. That's why I don't like candles because I know with with the way I am, I'ma just I'ma burn something I, down. That's why I only specifically light them when I'm cooking and then blow it right. Because like, I'm done. think of how easy it is to elbow a candle, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. How many drinks I've spilled? No way I want to f- spill a fire. <laughs> like, 
if if this thing was like if this thing was thick in its fire, like this thing was all um oiled waxed up. up. Yeah, it's all waxed up and you hit it, is you think it's gonna light this table on fire? No. Nah. No? Mm mm. I guess I don't know anything about fire. <laughs> <laughs> Just because if if the wax is already like wet and it it goes over like um fire doesn't travel over wax like that Mm. are you a pyro i don't think so (laughs) anyway sorry about that we just had some technical difficulties um completely threw me off track and now i think we should get into the suggestion box all right cool so we got some questions from you guys uh, and some suggestions thank you if nice comments uh, left nice comments and questions by the way thank you we could just you know um go back and forth you can go with the first one if you'd like all right this one someone asked or said how to deal with toxic slash negative friends i don't think there's a way to deal with them i think it's just a matter of just not talking to them actually no here, here here's the way to do it if you still love them and, and want to hang out with them but you know that they're toxic and they're negative people say that yeah i first, know see it's a lot easier said than it. it's a lot easier said than done yeah it's pretty difficult already um but then if you address it and they don't change or they're just like yo fuck that well then that's your sign to yeah to then you, then you anymore. phase them out yeah my suggestion i agree you, with that have you ever had toxic friends Yes, and I used to not really be good at any type of, like, difficult conversations or confrontations. So, like a little wussy, I just... Stopped talking to him? Yeah, ran away instead. I mean, I guess you could deal with that that way, too. Yeah, it's not... That's not the the best way, so I would, that's why I don't well, suggest it. Well, I mean, obviously, it. you didn't want to continue your friendship with them, so that's why you just stopped talking to them. Yeah, but if I could... If I could tell my younger self, I would say, like, yo, just... Tell them? At least try to bring it up. You think they would have changed for you? Who knows, but probably not. <laughs> no. Not, okay, let's... Let, nobody's going to change for you. They got to change for themselves if they re, if it's really going to be some on some real change. Yeah. Uh, would they have done it? I don't know. But I, I wish I would have just at least been com- comfortable with doing so. Are they listening now? Probably not. Okay, well, shout out to y'all, whatever your names are toxic friends <laughs> toxicities yeah nice um okay so the next one says what up y'all addy from texas here shout out to texas hey hey why don't you guys guess oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> we agreed to not read this one until we... sorry guys i'm gonna read the next one <laughs> fuck. not no we, we we like the idea that's why we're yeah we're gonna save it for we're the holding next one. it jesus a very basic question but if you had a million doll hairs what would you what would you do with it Also, Jay, you're a buff. Thank you to whoever had that nice comment and question. Let's Um, go with Jay first. What are you going to do with a million doll hairs? First, what would I do off top? Probably pay off um, my family's debt as far as housing, my own personal debt. And then whatever's left over, um, try to invest it really and and really just be self-sufficient going forward would you quit your job what i i don't know if i'd quit it immediately yeah fuck that i'm out <laughs> yeah i'm just not even showing up wow you're gonna for only a million dollars too but yeah you're not even gonna tell them you're not even gonna put in your be courteous and put in your two weeks maybe i'll tell them but i don't know about no two weeks <laughs> you should be like i'm done <laughs> yeah I'd be like, man somebody did that to me at mcdonald's like they were they just like they called the store and they're like i'm not showing up today and i saw like how much that really fucks with the whole store, like dynamic, you know? Yeah. And like what happens when somebody just doesn't show up? It, it fucks everything. It up. fucks everything up because then you got to call somebody in. Yeah. If you can't get anybody in, well then you you're short staffed, short. and it's just not a good time. And someone's like, "Yo, this McDonald's is kind of ass, isn't it?" When the other friend's like, "Well, maybe someone called in, dude." Yeah. And that, that's the person with some fucking perspective. Yeah, that's the person that had a job before that someone yeah. called in at. So <laughs> just, just to, like, if you hate your job, the, the please. Please put your two weeks in. Put your two weeks in and, and on don't ever fucking leave and leave all the homies behind. Lot, I feel like a lot of millennials just be bouncing. Yeah, just fucking leaving. Job a job, yeah. Jesus Christ, what are y'all doing? Shout man? out to us at the avocado toast. <laughs> what would I, you do with a million bucks? If I had a million dollars, uh, I think I would do the same. Um, not pay off my debt, but if I, I didn't mean to say it like that. No, no, I, I feel you. Yeah. You 
but you'd also invest. In I would it. also invest in something. Uh, I'd you know put money in my uh, my my retirement fund and um, buy some property. Oh yeah, there you go. Put some money into real estate, building something. Yeah, in some real estate, and, and then travel, and then travel. Woo! Uh, continue to make YouTube videos. Um. Well, sp- uh, fuck. Speaking of that, what's what's the next? What's this next one? Uh, it's my turn to ask you, and it's what's been your proudest moment in music and YouTube. Um, my proudest moment was um. When I when we went to Europe two years ago, um, I made a promise to myself that I'd do a daily vlog, mm-hmm. and it was only for nineteen days, um. But that was really that was like a lot of that took a lot of time and effort for me to make a video, film, and edit and upload a video every single day for nineteen days while traveling, um, on unreliable Wi-Fi. On unreliable Wi-Fi. Yeah. So that was that's probably my proudest moment because that really taught me and showed me how far I can push myself and how much it takes to, um, like just make content. Yeah, dude. Like, look how hard it is to make a vlog at home like yeah. in america mm-hmm. and so to do it while traveling like yeah damn dude so and you yeah I, I i remember that time very well and you're working super hard yeah i definitely got way more sleep than you <laughs> yeah <laughs> there was a lot of i drank a lot of red bulls on that on well, that trip well, lots of uh, energy drinks for sure like i would go to I would go to sleep and the only light that's up is the laptop <laughs> yeah and then wake up and he's already like got the red bull with the uh with the laptop <laughs> yeah. back at it again it was just a lot of um time management which is really tough when we're traveling because like we're kind of we're kind of on some nonchalant do whatever we feel like that day i mean we do have like rough itineraries of what we're going to do that day but to plan my editing and um yeah just my my whole editing thing around the nonchalantness was yeah. kind of tough because i i didn't know exactly what time we were going to be home yeah <laughs> like what's gonna fucking happen it today it's just like yo downtime go yeah so i did never i did i don't think i took one nap that whole fucking that Fuck. whole trip and How we tragic, we came dude. back every day for a midday nap yeah and, and you still didn't yeah i still never took a nap so okay. you think that got you a lot faster at editing i think so i or think you're already fast at the time i mean i think i was fast but it definitely helped um i, I probably learned a lot about editing that i can't really say what like i don't really know off top what it was but i'm pretty sure it taught me a lot about editing and you think that was during or post ten thousand hours of editing damn that's a good question do i even have ten thousand hours of editing i think you do really it's been since like 2014 14 uh 2013 14 yeah yeah that, about that time it's been a long time. It's been it's been a long time. Yeah. Who knows? That'd be cool to it'd be cool to see if if I really do have the ten thousand hours. Yeah. That would be fucking. I wonder. I don't know what I would do with that information, but <laughs> it would be cool. You think? Uh, would you watch someone's ten thousand hours on YouTube? I think I've seen a video like that. Like it's just like kind of sped up. And yeah. They're just like. They're just like... <laughs> And it's clock's just moving. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Um, the second part of this question, though, I, I want to answer because um, I, I think it's important. And I know my man is going to be upset, but uh, I think the pr- my proudest moment in music is just working on music with uh, with Murs because um, we used to make a lot of music together. And, and he's fucking giving me the smile. And like, because like that, before we made music together, I always wanted to work with him specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just never got to happen. And then when, once we started, like we just really went at it and we worked on, uh, songs at first and then we went into working on projects together. So it showed me how to really put an entire project together. And I think during those times I learned the most about making music and how to work with other artists. Yeah. Um, definitely a cool time yeah it was a fucking cool like we we got to do hella cool shit because of that hella cool shit so that's probably my proudest moment in in uh music and youtube thing nice nice and wholesome nice and wholesome i was just trying to say (laughs) fucking nice and wholesome all right let me ask you this what is your best childhood memory my best childhood memory and i'm sure you got a lot my best childhood memory. Um, one that comes to the surface without having to think too deeply is uh, I think I told the story on the pod before, but it was um, 
it was my birthday when I think I was like turning 13, 12 or 13. And my birthday's around Christmas, so a lot of my friends are usually not around because it's like a family time where they go, you know, travel or whatever. And so I was I was walking around on my uh, by myself, and then my mom pulled up on me in the car, and she's like, yo, let's go. We're getting a guitar for you. I was Damn. like, okay, cool. And then going forward from them, like the getting that guitar changed so much about just changed my changed everything going forward from there. And uh, that's one of my favorite childhood memories. So she pulled up on you unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. How did yeah. she find you? I don't know. She has a tracker on you. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. But it was yeah, that was so weird. Like this is, this is pre cell phones or anything. Yeah. Um, I was just walking. I remember I was walking down this um, this hill too. If anyone. Well, actually, no one knows. But I was walking down this hill, this random ass hill, and then my mom just like pulls up, stops, says, "Get in, loser. We're getting a guitar." I'm like, "All right, Damn. cool." Were you longing for a guitar at that time? I was longing for drums. Okay. And then, uh, it's in where we lived. It's not really viable to have something as loud as drums. Right. So instead, we bought a guitar with an amp. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Real environmentally friendly. <laughs> like, but I got that guitar, and that was like the first thing I really took a passion to. And I played with like my friends, uh, like on Halloween and shit, and like outdoors and shit. Like super, super cool. That changed a lot for me. Damn. I'd love to see like little, how your li- Jay. <laughs> how your life would would have been if you didn't if that moment didn't happen for uh, you. You know, right? Because I feel like you know everything that we do changes the direction of of how we live mm-hmm. our life. But big things like that, um, yeah, I just always I'm just always interested to see like how people's lives would turn out if they didn't go through that time. Dang, I, I if it was an option to see it, like it came up on my recommended, like yo, yeah. see how your life is if you never got that guitar. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I would watch it. Yeah, it'd be kind of it'd be kind of heartbreaking. Right? Yeah, yeah. You think it'd be heartbreaking because you're like, damn, I'd rather live that life. <laughs> Like, damn, that guy is so much cooler. Yeah. He's like, because your mom didn't get it for you, you ended up getting it like a year later and like you became this huge like rock star. <laughs> like the timing was just like destined for that one, for that yeah. timeline. Damn, that would have been. That's even more heartbreaking. Yeah, which one would I rather watch? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I, would, I don't think I would want to see that either. That shit would make me fucking sad. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> to watch another life that's way... It's just way cooler, cooler. than your current one. <laughs> <laughs> you have a, a favorite childhood memory that comes to your head? Um, I think it's... it's. I can't think of a specific memory, but I think there's a time in my life where I would just hang out with my neighborhood friends like every day during oh, yeah. the summer at my old house. Um, I just... I remember like... Like, we would text each other, like, yo, let's go outside or whatever, and I'd go outside, and we played football all day, or just fucking ride bikes, or just do whatever in the in one neighborhood. Like, yeah. it wasn't even that big of a neighborhood, but we would play outside every single Being day. Being carefree as fuck. Being carefree as fuck. All I cared about was just getting home. On time. On time. Yeah. That's all That's all I cared about. Yeah. And drinking drinking uh, water from the hose on the side of mm-hmm. any house. Yeah. Just doing big fire anything we could and uh yeah those were the best times like i really wish i always think about contraptions like this where like what if we could think about a time bring ourselves to that time and just like relive it but not change it not not be in it but we're just watching it from afar Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like a full day when i was like six on April 7th, 19, whatever. Yeah. Like, I wish I could just watch my entire day and see what I did and see what I ate and see what I fucking said to other people. Dude, what if we're not that far from I hope so. A, I would a, love a device to go back. like that. There's a lot of days that I would, I would relive my entire life. <laughs> yeah, like, why not? <laughs> like, should I go on YouTube today? No. Nah, nah, just, I'll I'll just, let me just go watch dude, this one day. Dude, there's so much fucking content to go back and watch <laughs> yeah. of my life. <laughs> Yeah, that would be way more fire. <laughs> no way I'm watching y'all's vlogs. Yeah. I'm going to watch mine. I'm going to watch my own. <laughs> I'm going to watch myself. I'm going to have to stop during certain parts, though. Would you w- watch it in your own uh, point of view, or would you watch it from a third-person shooter or something? Oh, that's interesting. Um... I think I would do it from my own perspective. Yeah. But like I'm just watching. Yeah, but you know, you're I like know, here like, I am. Right. This is what I'm doing. Right, right, you're right. just like, damn, I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Low key, like I'm dumb. I'm doing some mad inefficient shit right now. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely uh I would definitely go back though. Cool. For sure. Um the next the next one is is do you think aliens exist? Dude. 
Hell yeah, I believe aliens exist. Hell yeah. What do you think? What do you think? Um, what is your definition of an alien? Um, my definition of a, of an alien, anything living on this earth that didn't originate from here. Mm. So whether that's bacteria, um, a bug, um, I guess that's it besides like animals and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Plants, I guess would work too. I want uh, do, are there things of that? sort <laughs> on this earth <laughs> uh i read this was a while ago like i don't know seven years ago or so uh that this one meteor landed from somewhere and it, it was in like antarctica and then they discovered that there was bacteria on that that was from that came from the meteor and they survived because it's in the ice so wow uh, that's what i read a long time ago um so yeah i if there's that and if there's water on Mars, then there's fucking life out there. Yeah. And, I mean, not even getting into the fucking alternate dimensions. Yeah. And, like, the shit that we is we can't see with a telescope or, like, that we know of, mm-hmm. you know? Like, what about all those planets and whatever you want to call them? Yeah. That all those shit. solar systems. When I start thinking about that, I start to roll my eyes back and be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you hits blunt. <laughs> this is fucking wild, bro. <laughs> do, you think, do you think aliens have already been here, though? Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. Hell no. yeah. They have no idea what the fuck is going on, though. <laughs> they're just as confused as we are. That's when they pull it, like, they still drive like this, and they're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I do think aliens have visited and... um. They see us making TikToks. Yeah, they just like they just they're just probably really intrigued by how we live life because it's yeah. probably so different from how they live life, and we probably look completely different. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's big brain shit right there. That's just kind of scary. Yeah. It's a to little think scary. about what a quote unquote alien would look like, somebody that's or something that's as big as us, not just like as small as like a fucking bacteria or whatever, yeah. but something that's physically as big as us. Yeah. As we are. That'd be nuts. And they're like smart. Well, they gotta be if they made it this far. They gotta be. They probably speak boo boo bebop though. Damn, dude. If they don't even speak. There's so, they see, the, the possibilities are endless with yeah. like a, an alien. So, so yes, I truly do, don't know. Jay and I do believe in aliens. We don't know what the fuck they look like, but we do think they exist. Yeah. And it'd be ignorant to think that they don't. Yeah. So. Next question. Should we cut it here? After this? Mana? Yeah, let's cut it here. It's not even a question. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, read it. We still don't know where Jay works, and you never will know because honestly, it would be at this point. At this point, it's so disappointing. It's gonna be fucking underwhelming. Yeah, it's overwhelming. Actually, you know what? Fuck. Leave some comments of where where you think he works. Yeah, can we? Yeah, make that content based on like the way Jay talks and just like the way he carries him, himself in these videos. Leave leave a comment in the suggestion box where you think Jay works, cause I'm interested to know <laughs> what you guys are thinking. Yeah, that'd be cool to know. Um, so shout out to everybody that's in this room. Shout out to Murs. He forgot to fucking do his job earlier and <laughs> completely derailed the whole show. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning into this episode of the Family Mart Podcast. Jay has a very nice haircut. Oh, thank you. And um, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank see you guys. You. Uh, Bye. Happy fifth yet. Happy fifth. Fit fit. Happy. Happy fifth. Fifty. <laughs> happy fiftieth episode, dude. Yeah, we made it. See you later. Peace. Peace.